Good morning, everybody. I want to show you the value that the Sozo machine brings to our practice here at Oasis PT and Wellness. I just got off the scale and I am standing on the sensors on the platform of my Sozo machine and it's counting down and it is going to start sending frequencies through the sensors up both of my arms and my legs. Quiet. you can hear a little bit of clicking that lets us know that the device is in fact working it takes about 30 seconds for the reading and hopefully my reading will pop up in just a moment and here we have it so I can step off of the device and we're gonna go through and look at everything now so here we have my results. And as you can see, the first thing we look at is the LDEX score. And this is the measurement of lymphedema. Green means there is no lymphedema. Yellow means the extracellular fluid and swelling levels are starting to rise. And red means there is lymphedema in the tested extremity that we're looking at. So the black dot is today's measurement. So we can see that I do not have lymphedema. My measurement is very good in the normal range. And what I like about this is that we can actually look at the history and see where I am, where I've been, if I'm trending upwards, if I'm trending back downwards towards a normal level. So this is a great visual that patients love to see how treatment is going, what's going on with their swelling, are they getting better, are they getting worse, how has treatment affected them, and a million other things that's really nice to see in a very easy to read picture. So now let's close this and look at the next great pieces of information and our body composition. So the first fluid analysis measure that comes up is our total body water. Now, the middle line is what you can expect from people, your age, your height, your weight, your size, and that gives us our norm. As the shades of gray increase as we move out from that center line, we're in the first standard deviation, then the second standard deviation, and then far off from the normals. So you can see my total body water is actually relatively low. And I can tell you that muscle cells hold a lot of water. We like big swollen muscle cells like grapes as opposed to shriveled muscle cells like raisins. That visual sometimes helps people. Fat cells hold very little water. So if you have low total body water, my guess is that my skeletal muscle mass is relatively low at this point and my fat mass is on the high side. So as we scroll down, we can see now the measures of my extracellular fluid and intracellular fluid, what's inside the cells. Remember, if we have high extracellular fluid, this is going to be the measure of lymphedema in our extremities only that we're looking at. So we like to see this nice, balanced, even extracellular and intracellular fluid. So there I'm doing well. Again, no swelling, no lymphedema. As we go further down, we look at hydration levels. And ooh boy, do I need to drink some water. I'm quite dehydrated at the moment. If you look at my history, we can look at all of these in our history. We can see that my hydration levels tend to live in that dehydrated state, which is not great, but um, I'm working on that. So let's go back to looking at the measures right now. And we can now look at my tissue analysis. So when we're looking at tissue analysis, we're gonna break down what percentage of our body is skeletal muscle mass, what percentage is fat mass, and again, you can see that I've fallen off the wagon. My skeletal muscle mass is relatively low. I have not been working out. I have not been doing what I preach and what I should be doing, and I'm paying for it. And if I scrolled even further, you would see that my fat mass has gone way up, but I'm not gonna show you that. So the last thing I'm gonna show you is that we can break down these numbers even further and look at segments by themselves. So the left arm versus the right arm, and the left leg versus the right leg. So this is always nice to see when we're comparing our normal or unaffected side with our affected side. But this is what we like to see. This is what we like to look at when we're using our awesome Sozo machine, looking at LDEX scores for lymphedema. I love having this device here at our office. I hope this has been helpful. I hope this helps you understand the different things that we can look at here at Oasis PT and Wellness and help you in your recovery and in your treatment.